Welcome to Minutes by Minutes. I'm Elgin Nickel. And I'm Dave Kennedy. And we're here to talk about what goes on in the village. You know, the township, those government people <laughs> that make regulations and laws that affect you out there. You're absolutely right, Elgin. And whether you live in the village of Oxford, the village of Leonard Addison Township, or Oxford Township, these are the people that you went and elected. And the committees and the commissions that make decisions that directly affect you, whether you chose to go to that meeting or not. And that's why we're here. Well, we're also here to uh, fill them <laughs> in on other little things that could happen during these meetings, and we call those rumors. Uh, and, and one of us does more of this than the other does. And along think? with rumors go humors. <laughs> humors. <laughs> Lots of humor in these. And if you don't believe it, just check it out. If you don't attend these meetings, as Dave says, you may very much find yourself in the middle of the humor with new taxes or whatever, huh? That's right. right. What is this bill? <laughs> what is this bill? Here it comes again. Okay, but here we're going to talk about a couple of things that went on <clears throat> last week. And one of the things I do want to cover at first is what I call quick shots. <laughs> not hip shots? <laughs> no, not hip shots. Quick shots. And these are uh, <laughs> things that we didn't mention before. Um, we didn't have the opportunity in or, previous meetings. Or did and are correcting <laughs> or now. Or did and are correcting now. <laughs> because uh, gunshots have uh, come in our direction. But anyway, so one of the things is Pollyann Trail Council. I want to cover that a little bit. There was a new, there was a mower given to the tra uh, Pollyann Trail people. A what? Um, a mower. A commercial mower. Oh, okay. Yep. And it was donated <laughs> by um, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Heichel. H-E-I-C-H-E-L. Mm -hmm. Very nice people, uh, been residents mm -hmm. of Oxford community for some time, and um, Linda Moran uh, actually has collected this machine and has an operation from what I understand. Oh, right. Linda Moran, of course, is the um, trail <laughs> manager. Doing a great job out there, too, yeah. by the way. And uh, aside from that, the other subject is And as they say, bad. a gift like that really cuts it. <laughs> the other one is a bad <laughs> subject. What's that? Goats. <laughs> Goats. <laughs> no, it's it's a good subject, but it seems like Linda Moran has run out of money <laughs> for the gold project, and so she's looking for voluntary funds to come in her direction. So if you think the goats eat everything, including money, <laughs> including money, and they'll eat money. Uh, it runs roughly around, I believe, around twelve hundred dollars per week to have these goats on the trail, and they eat, as he says, virtually everything. You're talking about poison ivy, poison oak, poison poison. <laughs> they'll eat anything. That's true. Even right. small little trees. Yeah. And so they keep the trails pretty clear. And uh, I think recently uh, a lot of children and adults have gone out down on the trail and, and seen the goats munching away happily. Ah. Uh, okay. So anyway, it's a good project. And if you feel like you'd like to donate some funds, get a hold of Linda Moran. She'd be glad to um, help you out there. <laughs> okay. Keep that trail nice and neat. Absolutely. Then, let me see. Uh, they, went, they had a request for rickshaws for the rickshaw. Uh, rickshaw. Well, it wasn't really a rickshaw. They were <coughs> like a bicycle machine, but not quite like a rickshaw, but similar to a rickshaw. I know what the word is, and it's, it starts with ped, and I forget what the yeah. next word is. Rick pedal. No, no. pedal red. <laughs> One of those. <laughs> anyway, they wanted to put them on the trail, and they're from Detroit, and they're going to transport people down to, for the Tough Mudders, which the program is over with mm -hmm. now. Um, and it was declined because we're not, the trail isn't meant to be for profit, you know. And, and this individual and they or don't this make company. And they don't make cross country versions of those. <laughs> right. <laughs> also, they would have had to recruit an awful lot of aliens from China. That's, that's the rumor. And <laughs> in order to pull these. <laughs> okay. okay. And, and I think the distance between Detroit and Oxford is, yeah, yeah, maybe. You have to pay overtime probably. Uh, for probably. These. I don't know how that would work. But anyway, it didn't work out for them. It was declined. Uh, let me see what else. Oxford Township Board of Trustees was the other thing. And they had several things going on with the Board of Trustees. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the areas that they covered was the prosecutor. I don't know if you know the Oakland County prosecutor. His name is uh, Macaroon. Not Mac the cookie? Macaroon. No. Well, I kind of abbreviate and call him Macaroni, but it's oh, Macaroon. Well, okay. <laughs> very, very sharp guy, and he uh, he's concerned about a couple of issues that's going to come up. That he's the Oakland legal County issue. prosecutor? Oakland County prosecutor. Or deputy prosecutor? No, he is a prosecutor. Okay. He's the guy. He's the man. All right. 
<clears throat> so anyway, he was at the uh, township meeting, and uh, he's concerned about a couple ordinances for uh, one for police response and that kind of thing, and another one uh, for civil uh, infractions. And uh, so those will be coming up before that board down the line here with more detail. And uh, just so wanted he, to present is, it. Is he trying to make things common throughout the county or what? Uh, absolutely. <clears throat> yep. And uh, he did point out very well that uh, Oxford Township and the surrounding area have done a great job in terms of police control and complimented the um, uh, sheriff's department. Yeah, we control our police pretty well. Yeah, well, they no, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> They have your number, believe I it or not. <laughs> I made sure of that last week. But our, our police do a great job, though. Yep. We have both uh, village officers, of course, uh, <clears throat> the village of Oxford, and, of course, the township, uh, which is represented by the Holton <laughs> County Sheriff's Department. Right. And they have a... <clears throat> a location here right in the township so and they all do a great job we're happy to have them and not to mention we got to mention the fire department too because we have one of the finest fire departments I think in the state and they often work hand in hand they do okay uh, let <clears throat> me see Pontiac Road they're going to be uh, resurfacing um, Pontiac <clears throat> Road and that's going to be coming up soon the total project is going to be around 259,000 almost uh, $260,000 and the bid was they had three bids come in and it was awarded to a local company. Is this a township project or a county project? This is or a state project. This is a township project. Okay. That needs to be repaired. If you've ever traveled uh, Pontiac down near the um, um, <coughs> library in that area, mm -hmm. headed towards uh, Drainer Road, Pothole Alley. Pothole Alley. <laughs> no. That's what it is. Well, it's hard to decipher between the ditch and the road. No. <laughs> So anyway, if you just, happen to end and, up in the ditch and then come back out. And just as an aside, the cones are out on Baldwin Road between, what, uh, Seymour Lake Road and yeah. uh, Oakwood right now. Yep, and that's a preliminary to what's going to happen in 2019. All these roads are being taken care of before they get to that. You what know, because they're going to do... What US happens in 2019? M24. They're going <clears> to <throat> tear up M24. Can you say smoking? No. I don't, don't think they're using dynamite, but they are using every vehicle you can think of to tear it up. It used to be just another four years, and they just kept saying that. <laughs> yeah, kept saying that, but now it looks like it's, it's in reality. It's, you can see the train coming. It's coming down the track, right? Oh, wow. So anyway, it'll be here. And uh, let me see. Accepted bids. Uh, we actually ended up with split bid for water treatment that they were looking at. Water uh, treatment? Yeah, remember the water program that they had with the tanks? They're rusting out. Uh, at, our, at our water facility. Our new the, water the facility? In the township. Well, these tanks are roughly about 10 years old, and they're pretty sizable in terms of purification. You mean the, you mean the, the, the big high holding tanks? Yeah. Okay. Yep. And as, a, as opposed to yes. something in the water softening system itself? Yes. Those. <laughs> okay. There are, I believe, four of them, <laughs> and one of them has, has to be completely, you know, uh, reconditioned. <laughs> And there's two companies that's going to be involved in that. One is uh, Seven Brothers Incorporated, <laughs> and they're going to handle uh, the finish coatings on it, which is around $75,800. And um, there's a, another company that's going to be ha handling the welding. It's uh, Pervasion and so are they Foster. Are they replacing welding. them or refurbishing them? No, they're refurbishing. Because okay. to replace them, you're talking... <laughs> thousands and thousands of dollars to replace these. These aren't just simple little tanks. So rather than have you folks out there spend all this money, uh, Bill Dunn, from the supervisor of the township and the trustees that sit on this board, want to make sure <clears throat> that these tanks are operating just like new and that you're not going to see any is uh, there, deficiency in your water. Is there some kind of guarantee as to how long this refurbishing will last? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Actually, uh, the other tanks actually show some rust on the, on the seams as well. And it goes back to, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, welders that did this on stainless steel. And um, I guess the weld that they use is breaking down. So The weld they're going to use yeah, is not? Right. And what they're going to do is go back to the company that made the original welds and see if they can get some compensation for it. Speaking of compensation. How long ago was that? What? How long, long enough. Okay. <laughs> we'll be back right <laughs> after this. Long enough. Canine Stray Rescue is Oxford's own local dog rescue. 
Call them at 248-628-0435 or go to their website, dogsaver.org, and click on the K9 Stray Rescue League link. There's a lot of history to Oxford. Hidden around every corner, deep in every crack, and sometimes right in front of you, waiting to be discovered. If you just dig a little, you'll find the great history of our beautiful town. Welcome to Historic Oxford. Welcome back to Minutes by Minutes. I'm Elgin Nichols. And I'm Dave Kenny. And we are talking about what's going on kind of, you know, piece by piece, the things that we missed in the past. And uh, one of the things I want to mention is that uh, uh, the subject of water costs coming up in terms of uh, increase in rates, that's not going to happen. Jack Curtis says, hey, wait a minute. No increase. We're not, we're not, we, we got enough money to work with right now. We're not going to charge any more, even though uh, the Pontiac system and and the uh, Detroit system is charging more. So right now we can cover it. So that's good news out there for you folks. So they're in the black. Yeah, they're in the black. Well, they're temporarily in the black. How long it's gonna last, who knows? Well, it's zero sum, but you know. Yeah, zero sum. You know how that works, you handle accounting, right? Yeah, Just end up with a number Start with nothing, there. end up with nothing. <laughs> See, okay, <laughs> got it, okay. Uh, actually, um, the Bernard Katzman group was building quite a uh, subdivision over here condominiums and, and homes, uh, they asked for a, um, the ability to get temporary occupancy so they could sell uh, a lot of these uh, components that they built. Uh, in the meantime, be able to fill you know, the homes. Um, temporary occupancy. Yeah, t it's temporary occupancy, whereas <laughs> before, according to the agreement, they could not e enter into those homes until they're completely uh, finished. So they're going to rent them out. Required by the planning commission and the. Uh, so they're going to temporarily rent them out, or what? <laughs> no, they're going to they're going to have a sales office that they're going to open up, and that's the reason oh, why they want occupancy. So it's for one unit, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah, for one unit, and it's going to be for the mm -hmm. clubhouse, and that was approved. Mm -hmm. It just makes good sense for them to go ahead and mm -hmm. do that. Um, let me see what else we got going here. Oxford Village uh, tax collection. Oh yeah, they agreed to collect the taxes for the village. Uh, at this point, if they want to go forward with that, well, that uh, offer has been standing for quite a while. Yeah, township too. has been doing that for a long time. Yeah, you know, from my understanding, I know when I was on village council, you know, we approved it. So I, I suspect they'll go forward with that as well. This makes for efficiency. It does. <coughs> wetlands. Um, oh, <laughs> they want to purchase wetlands. We mentioned that, and they're going to spend it for fifteen thousand dollars wetland. It's a, it's a situation that they have um, that's in litigation right now and has been. Uh, for quite a, quite a while for a um, uh, development. Why, why would they purchase wetland? Because there's a conflict as to <clears throat> how the, how the uh, water is going to run off and who owns what, where. Uh, you know, as far as this other uh, home development that's in there. And there's been a, a big struggle over uh, a wet area there. And the other part is the actual land. They want the township to buy it all. This is litigation been going on for about 10, 15 years. You may want the township to buy it, but why should the township buy it? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what the township's looking at. <laughs> but they can get it through a grant, uh, the 15000 required for the wetlands. That'll cure part of the problem, and then they'll look at the rest of it and see what needs to be done, if anything. <clears throat> so now the so you're stuck. <laughs> so this township is stuck with the wetland. They can't do anything with. Well, they don't. They don't really care because it's a grant. You know, it's been supplied, and you folks in the state of Michigan have paid for this wetland. So <laughs> <laughs> don't push that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's another subject that we could get on. He said, "Well, it don't cost you anything." Excuse me. <laughs> you pay state taxes. Yeah, I suppose, ain't no huh? such thing as a no free such lunch. thing as a free lunch. Well, now <laughs> let's talk about non-free lunches. We're going to talk about the Oxford Township Planning Commission. <laughs> <clears throat> the uh, planning commission and not the uh, trustee board. Hmm. And uh, let me see, Berger is the one that is on this board. Hunwick, uh, Noel, Kelly, Rossner, Myers, and Mike Spiz, who is also a commissioner with the uh, county. And uh, chair is Mr. Young. 
and uh, they did the pledge, of course, got that pretty much all the preliminaries out of the way, read the minutes, uh, agreed to that, and May 11th, the uh, minutes were approved. Uh, that goes back a ways, this one, doesn't it? Uh, public comments, items uh, not on, on the agenda, hmm. no, nope. everybody looked at their shoes and waved on. So commission comments, none there. Public uh, hearings, none. So they were whistling right through this particular program. Are we done? <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> <laughs> almost, though. <laughs> almost. We're almost there. Uh, new business was the one that kind of er, come to a halt. <clears throat> Applicant was Clearview Homes, LLC, and they're involved in some other projects, too. I believe one of them uh, that they're working with is with the village, with uh, Glassby Street, that property as well. Oh. Oh. I think that one is like 16 homes in that location. That's the corner mm -hmm. of Glassby and mm -hmm. Burdick? Yeah. And they're in, I mean. Not quite. But no, yeah. not quite. Almost. Got them back up a bit yeah. next to the water plant. Yeah, yeah. And so this company is pretty sizable, and they, uh, they're they involved <laughs> in several projects. And uh, this one here is uh, due for the final uh, site plan, which is the uh, Savannah Ridge Estates, and was pretty much you know construction they're looking at is 30 family homes for that location it's on 42.11 acres roughly and uh, it's on r3 single family residential so we're getting all this preliminary stuff out of the way located at east of baldwin road west of colts road off stanton road now do you east understand baldwin? that don't you east baldwin <laughs> yeah, east baldwin east Which of one? baldwin Oh, east of of because Baldwin. Baldwin. Baldwin runs north yeah. and south. Yeah, and does. Wait a minute. Yeah, we turn it around. <laughs> there we go. We spread a rumor. They just turn Baldwin around. <laughs> it runs in a different direction. No, that would help the people in the traffic in the morning, particularly when they hmm. try to get over to M24. You know, from Baldwin. Anyway, uh, west of Colts and then off uh, Stanton Road on the north side. Now, do you understand all that? Probably what? not. <laughs> My GPS just went around the circle. <laughs> <laughs> you just broke your GPS. Okay. <clears throat> Plan is uh, in compliance, according to the uh, consultant. And uh, so there seems to be no very um, major issues. Other than the safety path is not on the plan. Now, you do understand that if a developing company wishes not to put in a safety plan, which is required to have, then they can pay for having the safety plan not being on it. They pay for the, uh, what do you call that? You said that before. They call it, someone else will do it. <laughs> someone someone <laughs> else will do it. township. 1-800-CALL-DAVID. You'll do it. <laughs> no. no, I mean, the t basically, they're paying to have the township do it, right? Well, the, the township isn't going to do it either. What? But they, what are they paying for? Well, they're paying for the <laughs> right not to do it. So that gets into escrow, should they ever decide to do it. Could. But it won't. I don't know. <laughs> could be. That's a good question. A great big question there. What happens to that money then? Okay. Take a note. <laughs> we'll call it earmarked. Earmark it? Yeah. That would be a good thing. They, they are going to earmark the money. And uh, But after they looked into this and the cost of doing this safety trail, hmm. which is going to be substantial, I think a hundred and some thousand dollars. Wow. Uh, they said, well, hey, wait a minute now. Uh, maybe we'll look at this. <laughs> <laughs> See what we can do. So that's anyway. the cost of not doing it. <clears throat> of not doing it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so now they're thinking we'll they put might be able something old. in for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have to stick with the requirements of well, the. I'm sure. You know, the zoning requirements. Which have variances. And variances. <laughs> no variances for uh, for a safety path. Oh really? No. No. Oh. I believe they have to be. I, I don't know 10 how specifications wide. go, plus or minus. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, they did discuss issues such as trees and that kind of thing uh, on the site. No issues there. <clears throat> Driveway, uh, setbacks, they talked about that, and no problems with the setbacks. Uh, under discussion was um, mm, pretty uniform between the two. I take it that area is not serviced by community water? or You're is You're right. It? That's a good question. They are not. <laughs> okay. So everything's going to be uh, well. Everything's going to be sewer. Uh, sewer or cesspool? In the ground. Cesspool. Home systems, yep. That too. <laughs> <laughs> no little outhouses out back, that's not allowed. <laughs> I, although it could be if they get a variance. Do they allow them to do like a common system? A within common? It, within what do you mean common? With, 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 say you have ten homes, could they use a... a no. A, no, they could <laughs> <laughs> Nice try. We'll talk Thanks. about that when we get back, right after this. <laughs>
Welcome back to Miss Five Minutes. I'm Elgin Nichols. And I'm Dave Kenny. And we are talking about water and sewer, and we pretty much uh, <laughs> confirm that they're going to be responsible for that. There isn't going to be a municipal system there. Um, <laughs> now the next concern was runoff. And, of course, they said that what runoff water has to have a, a basin. You know, to catch it so a retention has, or a detention pond <laughs> yeah <laughs> going back <laughs> depends on the situation i think oh, I see. yeah they yeah so anyway um they also did talk the fire chief said that the pumps that they have for the fire hydrants need to, that needs to be the first thing that needs to be tested in terms of the water they got fire hydrants oh well, yeah they're gonna have fire hydrants but there they don't have for fire department but they have special pumps for that that's what they're going to have and a water source for the fire department so that's how that's going to work. supplied by the municipality. Not supplied by the municipality. So they'll have another well. They will have another well. <laughs> well, I say and this about... A, and it'll be a common well service to all. It could very well be, and that could be a rumor. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. They can all run down to the fire hydrant and <laughs> take their little hmm. kettles and fill them and bring them home. And Something is not right work. with this picture. <laughs> this, this does not fit. But anyway, it's going to work. So mm -hmm. they'll make it work. You notice how the township people can make all those square things fit in round holes? Yeah, that's right. It'll work. <laughs> I know it will. Okay. So anyway, water has to be tested. Fire chief said make sure that is uh, one of the conditions. And uh, Jack Curtis says, oh, he says, I have trash concerns. <laughs> he says, uh, construction sites, he said, uh, that's going on. He said, with this particular company, too, this building, he said, trash is flying all over the neighborhood. And they said, well, you know, it's been kind of windy. He says, Jack says, well, he said, uh, as far away as I live, if the trash ends up from your location under my front yard, he said, there's a problem. <laughs> so you want to do is surround so the property with giant it. nets? Well, you need to contain <laughs> it. And I don't, I think right now what they do, the process they use <laughs> is they store all the trash in a garage and then they have a truck come in and they, they get rid of it. Well, he's saying you need to have containers, you know, okay. for the trash. So points well taken. And mm -hmm. Jack says, if I go through another meeting and you're here and I have trash, he says, we're going to talk trash. <laughs> so, anyway, so Jack, good for you. Got them all straightened out on the trash. Uh, safety path must be presented by Jim Sharp Engineering and what the cost would be. So they are still looking at the safety path and what it would cost to do it. Now, and the safety path is strictly the path in front of their property. It doesn't necessarily connect no, to anything. No, and it could go to the back. And you're right, it may not connect to anything at this point. But the but plan is to eventually history, have it all all connected. In some eon in the future. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> you and I may never see that day, but it, you know, it's in the plan. Master plan, I think, is what they call you would it. Think, you would think that instead of having a path that went nowhere, you would wait until you had a path that was going to go somewhere and simply charge people to build it. You'd think you would do that, wouldn't you? Yeah, well. <laughs> well, what do you mean? <laughs> I know. Okay. Economic development. Um, June meeting. There's going to be a, a meeting this uh, this month uh, where they're going to get together and discuss the development of you know, various things within the township. Uh, safety path, miscellaneous maintenance, and so forth. Cemetery and, and uh, to be regraveled. They talked about that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> water and sewer, they did discuss the overall concept and water uh, main project to the school. That's progressing as we speak. What's wrong with that? Oh, you'll see the, all the large pipes going in right now as we talk today. No, I mean... Oh, he's just is summarizing. There a, is there a problem there? Or no. What? Okay. Everything's running smooth. Um, Why are they doing it then? They're making pressure checks as they go along, you know, as, as they're uh, moving this line into the Lakeville Lake Villa area. Oh, the Lake Villa area. <coughs> yep. Okay, all right. And uh, let me see what else. Uh, <coughs> repairs started on the water plant, <laughs> so we already talked about that. Uh, June 12th, they had an MDOT meeting about M24. And I haven't found, you know, exactly what's going on there yet because actually the Downtown Development Authority, DDA, cannot proceed until we find out what the what MDOT, Michigan Department of Transportation, is going to do. Are they still holding their planes close to their chest, as it were? Well, they kind of know what they're <clears> going <throat> to do, but they're not letting anybody else know at this point, except they, they, they are going to provide that information on the 12th. So uh, we will know more. Is that going to be a public meeting of sorts? <clears throat> it's going to be involving the municipalities It's going to and the entities within the municipalities. For example, DDA will be there because they're involved. Township representatives will be there. 
uh, from both Lake Orion and Oxford as well, because it's going to affect both. And, is there uh, is there a location for there yet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or is that at the county? <clears throat> the location where it's going to be held? Yeah. It'll more likely be held at the county, I would think. I, I don't have know. a question. I can spread that rumor. Are we going to are we going to send a camera person? Uh, you know what? <laughs> we'll let you make that decision. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, if it's an open meeting, they should be able to do that. I don't think that yes, there's anybody. Should. I don't think there's anybody that you know doesn't want to have uh, uh, transparency. You know, when it comes to government. Well, I know CJ will be there. Uh, yeah, he <laughs> probably will be. He might be peeping in the window, but <laughs> he'll be there. <clears throat> he'll report on it some way or another. CJ is the uh, editor of the uh, Oxford Leader. Oxford Leader. Yeah, good one. So we bring that up just in case you folks <laughs> don't know who CJ is. <laughs> and uh, the leader does provide <laughs> feedback for the station from time to time. We certainly cooperate with them. Uh, Oxford <laughs> Village uh, Planning Commission meeting is the next one coming up. And uh, <laughs> all they had there was old business going on. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, Chris Corey talked about signage. And remember, we discussed this subject before. <clears throat> before. <clears throat> They're looking for a um, uh, sign that's going to be 32 square feet. In other words, a four by eight capability, and they want to know what the specifications were for the new ordinance. You know, the distance from the curb, is that where it's gonna start in does, terms of property line? 32 square feet have a parameter for how long and how wide? Yeah, four feet <laughs> high by eight feet long. Okay. Can be only as six a, feet high. As opposed to one foot wide. Yeah, right. <laughs> really long. <laughs> First of all, they have to get a permit, is, is the way it goes, and they have to have a, a layout of what they're gonna do in a, you know, a diagram. Once a permit is uh, is approved at that point, it's approved, by the way, by um, <clears throat> by Chris Corey, and he approves it. Then it goes to the Planning Commission. Planning Commission reviews it. Once the Planning Commission approves it, then it goes to the Village Council, and then it's well, to be authorized to go forward. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would I'm be sorry. the process. That was cruel. <laughs> yeah, it was very cruel. <laughs> anyway, speaking of cruel... <laughs> um, one of the questions they had was, well, where does the, the line, the property line begin, you know, for the signage? <coughs> Chris Corey says it begins on the property owner's sidewalk side edge. <coughs> and it, the requirement is to have it three feet from the sidewalk edge. So that means if you, you got 25 feet and you got a sign that's eight feet long and you got three feet in, it doesn't give you a lot of room. So move the sidewalk. Move the house. <laughs> And move the building. <laughs> Could move the sidewalk, yeah. Move it out to the <laughs> middle of the highway. But anyway, so those are all areas that they did cover, you know, during the uh, uh, Village Planning Commission meeting. And it's pretty well uh, run. Uh, Gary Douglas handles that as chairman. He does an excellent job, you know, with the Planning Commission. Kudos to Gary out there. And what's coming up? We have a lot of meetings. We do. Well, <clears throat> first of all, uh, on 612, the Oxford ZBA, well, it's canceled. And <laughs> at 7 o'clock that same day, the Village of Leonard Council. And on 613, the Addison Township Planning Commission, oh, it's canceled. And <laughs> on 630, the Village of Oxford Council will be meeting at 630 also. The Oxford Board of Education will be meeting at the high school. And on 614, at 7 o'clock, the Oxford Township Board of Trustees will be meeting. At 640, on 615, uh, at 7 o'clock, the Village of Leonard Planning Commission, and at 4.30, NOTA, North Oakland Transportation Authority, yeah, not will canceled. be meeting at the Village of Oxford offices. <laughs> and okay. lastly, on 6.19, at 6 o'clock, the Addison Township Board will be meeting, and at 6 o'clock that same day, the Village of Oxford Downtown Development Authority. If you will want to catch some of these meetings, I'm Algin Nichols. And I'm Dave Kenny. And we'll catch you right next time on Minutes by Minute. See you then. Thank <laughs> you.